Okay, next up we got Cunny B. Welcome back to the show, Piglets. It's Gay for Me. And today we have a super special episode because we're finally gonna unbox the rest of the Bishojo Transformers Girl line. And if you guys remember, we opened Optimus on one of the Gay for Meal boxes. And I also did a full review for her, so you can check that out over on the main channel once you finish watching this video. Not dolls, mom, they're fucking statues. So we're gonna get started, but first we need to crack open an ice cold monster energy. When you need to piss rocks the size of golf balls, there's nothing better than taking on a big six and a half inch monster. Right, see, that's pretty big, you know? Fellas, don't let those girls make you feel like you're unworthy. Oh, all right, it's an ASMR video now. But we will take a look. I just knocked over Aqua. So yeah, here she is. So yeah, she's got a very military-esque outfit. It's a lot different than the Optimus statue. She's got a big flowing coat. She's got a little hat. Love that bob. Big old heels. Of course, she's got the fusion cannon. That one's pretty much dead on with the G1 design. Loving that little tie. So yeah, check out that lipstick though. Oh my God. I don't know, here she is with Megatron himself, the man himself. Okay, so we're gonna start with Megatron and I lost my normal knife, so we gotta use the Milwaukee blade today. Oh yeah, cut him up, cut him up. There you go, do you guys know? Stick the blade in. You might be able to see dust on it too, cause I this one's been sitting around for a while. I had this one just kinda on a shelf. Cause I was waiting to unbox all of them all at once. Pull her out, but you guys know I wouldn't pull out. And here she is. You can just reach in and touch her. Okay, let's pull her out and let's take out her uh, all, she's got all this plastic on her. This is interesting, look at this. It's like a tub liner or something. All right, so here's Megatron and her beautiful Bishojo glory. All right, so you got her face. Look at her, she looks like a humongous Bitch, but that's what we want, right, fellas? She kind of reminds me of Lady Gaga. I don't, I don't really know why. It's something about like the hair, I guess, and her little hat. I feel like there's a music video she did that like had this type of look. And here's her like kind of corset, kind of like fitted shirt-looking thing, and her big tie with the Decepticon badge on it. It'd be really cool if the coat was removable, but I don't believe that it is. And it has like these little stripes on the bottom, which really reminds me of like Rika's coat from Gridman. She has like some stripes on the edges of her coat. Whoa, what's in there? Her dress also, it's kind of like, just like dark black. I guess it, it kind of looks like leather. And then her legs and her stockings and stuff. She's got these big chunky ass heels. Oh my God. So her cannon was in two pieces in the box like this so we're gonna stick them on there so yeah her cannon is just like uh it's just megatron's cannon which of course is the uh the scope of the gun from the original toy ah so here she is all together right pretty cool package i got a pretty <laughs> cool package for her too <laughs> here we can put them together i need a duster i keep one of these at the desk it's a uh, makeup brush. Keep these to dust your figures and shit because they're really gentle. See all that crap coming off? Oh, Jesus Christ. Just, just hit that real quick. But I'm not going to be quick when I hit that, you know what I mean? I got all the jokes today. Yeah, so here they are together. Megatron's got, got such a such a much more dynamic pose than Optimus did. Yeah, look how much paler she is. Like, Optimus is kind of like, like a normal, kind of like white skin complexion. But she almost looks like too pale, honestly. It's kind of weird bugs me out. I guess it really helps to highlight her eyes and stuff, right? They really stick out. So if you were like holding like a gun to my balls and I had to pick one, I don't know, I might pick Megatron just because like I think her pose is a lot cooler. You know, she has like the, you know, the big gun and the little hat and all that stuff. I think that's cooler, but I do think generally Optimus is a little bit more like she doesn't, you know, shy away from actually having like the details of the character. This definitely still looks like you know, a cosplayer, less so than this being a girl version of the design, right? I don't know. I, I mean, I, they're still pretty cool. Both of them are pretty cool. Pits. Pits. You guys want to see pits? You guys want to see your pits? You guys want to see your pits? You guys want to put your wiener in there? Okay, next up, we got Cunny B. Oh my god. She's all wrapped up in plastic stuff. Let's pull this out. But, you know, I wouldn't pull out. You guys know what I'm saying. Here's the uh, box with the uh, artwork. There's Bumblebee looking like an absolute chad. The bottom of the box is weirdly greasy. I don't know what's up with that. So here's her design. I think her design is definitely on par with Optimus's design in terms of the cohesiveness and like the vision behind it. So I'm just gonna check her out. I might open this one from the bottom actually. <laughs> there we go. Smells funny. Smell, I can smell the chemicals. All the delicious, delicious Nippon chemicals. She is a lot smaller than the other ones, honestly. She's got a lot more fucking wrap on her, too. Jesus. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's got a little sleeping bag on. Yep. Come on, get off there. 
peeling her foreskin off. Whoa, she's fucking pecking. Jesus. All right, so here's Connie B. Holy shit. This is much easier to hold and handle because of the smaller base. So here's her face, and she's super cute. She is wearing like a hoodie with like Bumblebee's scalp on it. <laughs> Like, he's been, like, skinned, and now she's wearing his, like, pelt. She even has a little little backpack as his little wheel. That's pretty cool. This is this is probably my favorite part of the design, actually. It's not it's not just because it's her titties, but, like, you see that, like, she's wearing, like, a, like, this is the top of the, uh, the, the, the coat, right? And then underneath, she's wearing, like, this little, like, camisole that's blue. But because of the way it sticks out, it looks like the windshield from the actual Bumblebee design, right? Like, I think that's just, like, a super, super clever thing that they did. And then as per Autobot standard issue, she's just wearing and some like little booty short shorts. And here's a little booty. Oh, I wish there was more to see on the Megatron, but like because of the big coat, it's kind of hard to get in and see all these details and crevices and all this stuff, you know? You guys like knees? You guys like the backs of girls' knees? So here's her fucking gun. Jesus Christ. I think it's probably based on a Bumblebee blaster, but you can't see most of it. It's in the holster. And then her little stockings and then her shoes, which have like the headlight from the uh, the Volkswagen Beetle, which is really funny. Her, her shoes actually have like a little texture on the bottom of them too. That's pretty cool. And then here's Optimus. The figures themselves aren't even really like that different in terms of size, but like Bumblebee is just way more compact. Right, like she's she's standing in a smaller pose, right? She doesn't have any extra accessories or extra little pieces. She does have like this little thing that hangs off and it's just kind of loose, which I would be afraid to break that, so. And then these little tabs, there's like little tabs here for like the edge of her belt. But yeah, like I said, the design is uh, really cohesive and it's super cute. She's like wearing a Kigurumi of Bumblebee. I'm glad they started doing this. This is such a cool set of figures to have and they're gonna look so good together. I'm probably gonna put all these like back here and like move stuff around after this episode. On to our last one. So this one's still in the uh, package that I received. Again, I don't know if you guys cared about me opening the boxes and stuff, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just in case. So again, thank you to Gus Gus for going out of his way to pick one of these up for me. I really appreciate it. And he was rewarded handsomely. Let it be known to all the piglets there in the land. If you get gay for me what he wants, he will reward you handsomely. And he wrapped it up really nice in some bubble wrap for me. So yeah, Nemesis Prime was the uh, exclusive at Anime Expo. I think she's the first repaint in this line. And you know, since Brown Scream is coming out, you know they're gonna be doing like all the other secret girls as well. Here's Nemesis Prime, the Decepticon Unicronian Herald. That's cool. And then she's got her angry, nasty face because she's a bad bitch. And she comes with a big fucking sword. Holy shit. I think I might have mentioned that when I was doing the uh, the unboxing for Optimus, who's down here. I think I might have mentioned that I thought that like her arms and hand were removable or something like that. This seems to be what it was for, was to like make repaints and stuff. And here she is again. All right, so let's just open it right up. Let's stop fucking around. Glad to finally get these open because I tend to backlog my mail and stuff really bad. I'm trying not to. Let's just open her up just like this. There we go. So I'm gonna pull her out. Did you guys know I wouldn't pull out? Yeah, yeah, I made that joke three times already. I doubt they would have ever done this, but it would have been really cool if like, this was like a five millimeter sword and then you could just use it with regular figures. Uh, luckily this time it does not look like I have a messed up head. If you guys recall my Optimus figure, her, uh, her little hair horns are like, they're fucked up. A hundred percent, I'm pretty sure they just use the uh, Megatron base for this, right? Cause their feet are like the same width apart. That's my little theory about this, them saving money. Let me flip this off of her. It's like I'm undressing her. It's kind of sexy. You know, we, uh, we unboxed the Optimus figure before, and we also did a full review for it. So we're not going to spend too much time on her. We're just going to check her out real quick. Goth GF Optimus Prime. And you can see she's got red eyes and a nasty smirk. Oh my god. Look at her. She's so evil. That's super cool. And then, you know, she's got her breasties. She's got the little silver matrix of leadership, which is pretty cool. Her hand is actually different from Optimus's hand. I'm pretty sure the grip looks a little tighter, right? This is like when she's holding like a, uh, a tubular circular object, like a handle or other things. And then she's got the black booty shorts. That's really hot. Ass! Like I said, it's mostly just a repaint. You know, it's a classic Nemesis Prime repaint, so there's not a whole lot new to see. So, of course, she does have an extra faceplate. And if you guys don't remember how harrowing it is to get this off, I'm gonna try to do it live on camera without breaking her. Pull off one side, and you gotta get your fingers in there, slap the other one off, and then, yeah. This is so harrowing. They put these, like, little, uh, tabs on the back of them, and it's a pain in the ass. Like, you can even tell. You can see it's, like, deformed a little bit, just from, like, being stuck in her hair like that. I really, really wish they had designed these that way, like, it was a separate piece and it wasn't necessary, because it's, it's super, super scary to pull those off, especially 
the first time, but then her hair just pulls off normally. Oh, I forgot the head pops off too. I'm gonna try to do it with a pop of the head off. Face pops off, and then you gotta slide the uh, face in. There we go. I might leave it like this. I don't know. I don't know, I haven't decided. I like the sneer a lot, but I left Optimus with the, uh, the normal face. So yeah, there she is with her masked face, which again, I'm pretty sure they are the exact same face and probably the same mold and everything. They just glue the mask piece onto one or the other. All right, so then we got the sword, which is just a clear red plastic sword. I don't know if it's based on anything specifically off the top of my head. So the handle does pop out and then you just replace the sword onto the end of the tip of the handle. Just like that. And here is our completed Nemesis Prime figure. Holy crap! Yeah, like I mentioned, it's just a simple palette swap. There's, there, you know, nothing special going on with this. They did give her a new sword, which I think is really cool. That's more than what Hasbro does for repaints sometimes nowadays. You guys know what I'm talking about? Giving them new accessories and stuff. Remember when they used to do that for Studio Series all the time? I, I love how you can just see, like, there's so much, like, difference in personality. How, like, she's just, you know real nice and cute and then she's like sinister and like conniving and you can totally see it in her eyes so yeah these are super cool glad to have them and uh again special thanks to gus gus for picking up this nemesis prime for me anyway here's all our girls together finally got the whole set as it exists right now again brown scream went on sale a couple of months ago so we're still waiting for that pre-order to come out but yeah super super cool super excited to have these and i'm really glad that hasbro once in a while, lets us have super cool and based products just like this. Based! If you want to see the full review for the Bishojo Optimus figure, you can check that out on the main channel. And again, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.